Okay, so this is a little mini review of the Bryman BM877. They call it an insulation DMM, but it does actually have limited functionality in the multimeter region, as opposed to some of the other uh, digital insulation multimeters that you get, and including some of the ones that Bryman themselves actually do, do have better multimeter functions. However, this is the only meter that they do that has both the DAR and PI functionality along with the earth bond test at 200 milliamps. Uh, there are other meters that have either of those two functions. So they'll have the earth bond, but not the PI and DAR, or they'll have PI and DAR and not the earth bond. So that's the reason why I selected this little meter. So this is the meter itself. Put them on and first point on the rotary switch is AC volts. Also have Hertz and a VFD mode on the AC volts as well. And then you have DC volts and then we've got ohms, continuity and diode test. They are selected from the select button here, uh, which is quite sensitive actually. That's continuity and the diode. And then you have 200 milliamp earth test which is operated off of the test button. Two ranges on that, a 90 milliamp and a 200 milliamp. And then we move on to the insulation resistance ranges, 50 volts all the way up to 1000 volts. Um, alongside for use in the insulation, you have pi and dar uh, ratio tests, pi first and then dar. Timer comes up at the top when you move to those functions. And you also have a smoothing function up here after the select that shows up on this side of the screen. So that's smoothing function, probably not much use on the 50, 100, 250 to 500, because they only go up to 500 mega ohms max, but the one KV range can go up to 25 gig ohms. So it might be useful on that function. Um, you also have in insulation test modes, you have compare function that you can that you can't do when you're on pi and r so we get rid of those and you hit that button once and it brings up the previous value it's set to 200 kilo ohms on this and you just keep pressing the button to select predefined values one meg all the way up to 10 20 50 meg and then back to 100k if you change the range then you get a different selection of buttons and out there and 50 and then you get up to 100 and then you get up to 200 meg 500 meg and back to the 100k so that compare function changes depending on the voltage you actually select okay, so with the kit you get a remote probe that works in either the insulation function or the 200 milliamp earth bond test uh, and it has the little operating button on its handle also has a removable GS38 cap, and then you're left with a fairly nice thin probe to get into terminals with, should you need to. Um, you have a set of red black leads and crop clips. The leads are molded on the end here with the probes. They're not four millimeter on this end. Again, you have GS38 caps that you can remove and then you have these crop clips that you can put on and plug on and then fully insulated crop clips but they are a little bit on the small side uh, but what you can get from there as well uh, these are standard RS probe crop clips as well and they do fit and will work uh, and then you obviously got a lot more jaw opening on these should you require it um, alongside probes you also get these little um, four mil adapters that can screw on over the top of the probe and I presume they're just to strengthen the probe if you're testing in sockets and terminals without the cap on um, they are a little bit bigger than four mil so they won't go into four mil socket and Bryman do sell another set of these with the spring loaded cage on them that do fit into a four millimeter socket, um, but probably very easy to lose. And that's pretty much all you get within the kit really. Um, 